Hey, it's Jocelyn, Kathleen, and Bree. For our first episode on Windy City Gals, today we will be covering stories about Chicago sports. First is Bree covering her story on the Chicago Bulls. The Bulls having some hard times with the season. First, Zach Levine with an injury, then Patrick Williams. The Bulls just can't get a break. Their season also hasn't been the best, with 33 wins and 35 losses. But let's go back to Patrick Williams and look at his injury. He suffered an injury on January 25, 2024, during one of his basketball games. The injury was a stress reaction to his edema, which is in his foot for people who didn't know. He had surgery on February 23 and will be out for the rest of the season, which is bad for the Bulls because Patrick brings a lot to the table. He hopes to be back for the 2024-2025 season and might be on a different team. It is believed that Patrick will be a free agent this summer. Now, for Jocelyn with her story on the White Sox. Keenan Middleton, the ex-White Sox player, reported that the Chicago White Sox have no rules. After Middleton was traded to the New York Yankees, he had an outburst on the White Sox staff. On August 1st, Middleton stated that you have rookies slipping on the bullpen during games, you have guys missing meetings, you have guys missing pitching fielding practice, and there's no consequences for any of this stuff. The White Sox had a major decline in performance this past year, and it could be due to the effect of this no-rule behavior Middleton is expressing. Next to Kathleen with her story on the Chicago Bears. Next up, we'll look at the Chicago Bears and their hopes in landing Saquon Barkley as their new running back. If Barkley chooses to leave his team of six years, he will be a valuable asset to numerous teams across the country. One source has stated, sources view the Baltimore Ravens, Las Vegas Raiders, Chicago Bears, New England Patriots, Houston Texans, and the Philadelphia Eagles as some primary potential suitors who have the resources, need, and interest to possibly sign Barkley. As Chicago Bears fans ourselves, we hope that Barkley chooses to sign with the Bears. With the expected addition of Caleb Williams and Justin Fields in the picture, Barkley would provide the Bears with an impressive offensive lineup. We are, however, concerned with Barkley's age in this matter. Barkley's age will limit his time with the organization. Most offensive linemen have short careers, and at the age of 27, Barkley might be nearing his end. Back to Bree with her final story of the Chicago Red Stars. Now for something about women on the on this podcast besides the hosts. This woman is on the Chicago Red Stars soccer team, Tata Malazzo. Malazzo joined the Red Stars in 2021, coming back from tearing her ACL. She started off slow but became a critical part to the team, becoming a starter midseason. Her team went to the championship game and put up a good fight with Washington Spirit but unfortunately lost. After this, the Red Stars had a hard time and recently cleared almost everyone out, soccer players and non-soccer players, with a new owner, general manager, and head coach, and with many players leaving, with one of the most unforgettable players remaining, Malazzo. She had held her head up high with all the changes, even not starting, but Malazzo didn't know what was happening with her home opener coming up. March 23, 2024. Will she play or will she get traded to another team? We will see this Sunday. Now, Jocelyn will be filling you in on the Chicago Cubs. Chicago Cubs prospect Caleb Killian moved to the injured list after experiencing shoulder pain. Killian was pulled from the game against his Kansas City Royals on Wednesday after growing concerns in the third inning. Cubs manager came out with the statement, it's concerning, and that's all we know. Caleb got an MRI done and we are awaiting results. We wish this young prospect the best and hope for a quick recovery. For Kathleen's last story, she'll be telling you about the Blackhawks. In most recent news, the Blackhawks trade deadline moves closer. The Blackhawks have been one of the quieter teams as this deadline approaches. The Blackhawks still have players that can be moved as well. One of the most likely candidates to be moved is Tyler Johnson, who has had a decent season but has struggled with injuries over the years. 
Moving forward to a recent conference at Blackwell, Luke Richardson might be the only player moving on. The trade is predicted to move faster in the upcoming year, 2025. Nothing is set or certain. The Blackhawks could make a handful of AHL transactions this week. No player has made a set decision, but is considering being moved.